What is up guys, JJ Andrew from the Road Syndicate team. First thing you're going to notice if you're a subscriber that I have a new camera. I got the T2i, uh, yeah, the T2i, the Canon 2Ti. So far so good, it's awesome. So yeah guys, this is going to be a review of the TouchWiz UX add-on. This is going to give you all the Galaxy S3 stuff that we've seen so far. And it is a flashable zip, you do have to flash it, you do have to be rooted to get this. So basically it comes with the TouchWiz UX launcher. So it comes with a Nature UX launcher that the Samsung Galaxy S3 has. And so far it is good. It comes with all the wallpapers, um, pretty much everything. It's very fast. It is a little choppy sometimes, but you know that's what's going to happen when you're on this. Let me actually change the wallpaper to a, a static wallpaper so that it won't lag like that wallpapers and you can actually see that you do have the Galaxy S3 wallpapers. Not a lot of wallpapers to choose from, that's sort of weird. But yeah, we'll just set this one as our wallpaper for now. But yeah, if you go into your apps you can see it does come with some apps that normally wouldn't come with. Now this does only work with AOKP, Slim ICS, or CyanogenMod 9. So make sure you're running one of those ROMs before you flash this. But yeah, to like to flash it, all you have to do is install the zip from your custom recovery. You don't have to wipe any data or anything. But I do recommend making backup because once you have this, you can't go back. Uh, so yeah, it comes with Apollo, which is sort of Samsung's music new interface and stuff. You have a new, new sort of app look. It does redesign the app icons, but since it's not a ROM itself, it does not theme the app itself and only theme sort of like the look of the icons and stuff. But yeah, you do have all the functionality of the TouchWiz launcher, so if you go up here, you can edit all your stuff. If you want a different view type, you can make it a list instead of just your normal grid. And also, if you do not like that alphabetical grid, you can just have a customizable grid and organize them the way you like it. So alphabetical grid is my favorite. I like this a lot. But yeah, it does come with a bunch of Samsung apps as well. So it'll come with, um, let's see here, File Explorer, S Memo, um, Movie Studio. Uh, you can see it's themed sort of the people and phone apps. And that's about it. It does come with S Voice. Now S Voice does work actually pretty good with this because what it's doing is it's actually the full raw file for the Galaxy S3 so you don't have to go in there and edit the build prop to Galaxy S3 it's already edited for you so it will work no matter what device you're on but remember this flashable zip is only for HDPI so you do have to have a 1280 by 720 display for it to work or else it's just not gonna work so let's actually test this out what is the weather for today? And it's going to go ahead and bring up the weather, and there we go. Pretty awesome. Pretty nice Siri clone that Samsung did. I actually like it a lot. Um, let's actually go back and look at our other ops. Apps, not ops. What, what am I saying? Okay, so Super Video is actually very cool. You can, it, it's, it's not a Samsung feature, but it does actually come with the app. So if you click on this, it'll actually bring up a little screen here and you can do anything you want besides watching the video of course and you can sort of drag it and edit it so let's say I want to go into camera at the same time I could be watching a video so that's also a really cool feature that does come with this if you want to go into Google Chrome you can have this video up here just a really small video you'll watch a video on your SD card or even if you want to watch a video on a web browser you can also do that through the set. Ah, uh, hair in my mouth or something. <laughs> yeah, it's sort of gross. But yeah, you can just close it, minimize it, whatever you would like to do. Um, other than the launcher and the icons, I haven't noticed that big, that big of a difference. If you go into settings, you can see that settings isn't really themed, but it does have different icons as well. So it does not really change anything besides add in Samsung apps, Samsung icons, and Samsung set of features I guess. But yeah, if you go in here you can see that it does come with I'm not sure if it comes with Google Voice. I'm not sure about that. But yeah, you do have your Samsung widgets too. So you will have Apollo widgets. Sorry, I got my beautiful widgets cluttering up the screen. 
You can see that you have the ICS Touch with UX clock that comes with it. It's just sort of transparent, just like as you see right there. And besides that, there's really no other widgets that I can show you. That's just about all the Touch with UX apps that come with it. You can see that we also have a setting shortcut, so that's always pretty cool. But yeah, I'm running this on the AOKP M5 ROM. It is not going to theme the notification bar or anything. It's just going to give you Touches UX launcher icons and a few goodies with Samsung apps. So yeah guys, this was my video review of the Touches UX add-on for the Galaxy Nexus. So yeah guys, thanks for watching this video. Feel free to subscribe. Tell me if you like this new camera. It should definitely spark up the picture quality and give you guys better look at my phone. So hey guys, thanks for watching. Feel free to give this video a thumbs up once again. And yeah, I'll have links in the description. See y'all later.